Hey guys, welcome to my new movie review. Today I'm going to be talking about the new Denis Villeneuve film, uh, Arrival. Um, you know, Denis Villeneuve has done a couple of big films already. He's done Prisoners, Sicario. Um, there was a, a really small film he made at one point called Enemy that I really liked. So this guy's a pretty notable man. Um, he's also working on the new Blade Runner sequel for Ridley Scott right now, since Ridley Scott didn't want to direct that movie. Uh, so in this movie, Arrival, guys, it's actually based off a really popular short story called The Story of Your Life which I think was brought up as a sentence here at one point in the movie to kind of reference that that's where this story came from. And it's about a linguist who is asked to um, come over to this uh, space sh this uh, spaceship uh, sighting of these uh, spaceships that landed all over Earth, but they just kind of randomly stop. They don't do anything. They don't really attack us. They don't really straight up come out and feel like they want to talk to us or anything so since we really don't know what their intentions are they hire this linguist and they're able to get these weird messages out of these aliens and they don't really quite know what they are um so the linguist goes to the sighting over where the spaceship in the u.s is since they land all over the country for all over the uh all over the world for these ships so she goes to the one that uh lands in the u.s so like, I meant to say all over the world, but um, so she goes to the one that landed in the U.S. and she has to figure out, you know, what exactly they're doing here. And they keep giving her all these little circular shapes that where she really doesn't know what they mean. And so she has to decipher throughout the course of the film what exactly these aliens are trying to tell her, what exactly their tension, their intentions are, and if they do mean to harm us, what do we have to do as people to protect ourselves? And if they want to learn more about us, if they're just intrigued by us and want to learn more about humans and so forth, we have to figure out exactly what they want to learn about us and exactly why they're here on Earth. So overall, guys, I liked Arrival. I wasn't humongously in love with it like some critics are right now on Rotten Tomatoes. But I think it was a good film. I think it definitely um, displayed what Denis Villeneuve can do as a director, though I think... You know, out of the films he's made so far that I've personally seen, um, I think I liked Enemy a little bit better. I think it displayed his talents better, and it was a better film and a better story overall. Uh, but Arrival is still a good film. If you like, you know, movies about universal languages or um, how, you know, if we were to ever encounter aliens and they gave us the, these language and symbols that we have to decipher and if that kind of thing would interest you, I think Arrival was worth seeing. Um, but for my positives and negatives of this movie... Um, I think the themes and messages about universal languages is ultimately what I think I liked the most about this movie because it really it is really interesting to see how um, this Amy Adam linguist, you know, Amy Adams plays this linguist in the movie. Um, it's interesting to see how she deciphers this language, how she goes about it, how every form of language and every form of pictures and symbolisms and so forth all have something universal in common, and it does that, and it also applies to these aliens, so it's easy to um, learn exactly what they're saying to her and stuff like that. So it's themes and messages on universal languages were all very good. I really like those portions of the movie. This is also a very well shot film. Denis Villeneuve is very good about hiring good cinematographers for his film, and this film's no exception. He really did have a well shot film here that was shot very well. The cinematography looks great. Everything's in frame. Um, whenever we're around these big spaceships, he does a very good job making us feel like we're very, very small compared to this very, very big ship and so forth. Uh, so it's just a very well shot film. It's also very well directed. You can definitely tell Denis Villeneuve has quite a bit of directing experience by now. Uh, he seems to have a good grasp of, you know, making sure the visuals are good, that the story's still good, uh, that every aspect of the production is high quality, the best he can for the course of the movie and the course of the production. So great directing on display here. And I really like the performance that Amy Adams gave in this film. She really did seem like this very intelligent linguist that... Uh, really knows how to break everything down uh, rather than you know providing a question or a sentence to the aliens she has to break it down for them because she doesn't quite know if these aliens even know what questions are if they're that intelligent or that advanced um, you know things like saying they or their um, sometimes in different cultures that can be one and the same or that could be different and so she has to figure out what exactly how these aliens view those kind of questions and view those kind of things um, and it's really interesting to see how her character comes up with these things. So very good performance from her through the movie. Um, there's also a scene, too, where she's speaking in a foreign language to somebody, and she seems very fluent and natural in it. So she does a very good job 
making us feel like we're watching somebody that really knows a lot about um, universal languages and so forth. This one also has great visuals. They did a great job making us feel like we are really watching, like, if an alien race were to invade us at any moment, what exactly that would be like. Uh, so as far as the visuals go, they really give us a visual representation of what exactly that might be like, rather they attack us, rather they just stall there and wait for us to go to talk to them and so forth. So they really handled the visuals very well in this movie. And overall, I thought the acting was pretty good. Um, I am going to get to something about the characters themselves here in a second, but um, overall, this was a very well-acted film. I think everybody who had something to do in the movie uh, gave great performances and great acting in it and so forth, so great acting overall in the movie. This is also a very realistic take on alien invasion. I think when the, the ships first land here on Earth and people are kind of freaking out about it and so forth, it does feel very real. I really feel like... Uh, you know, there would be people getting in car accidents and people rushing home and people rushing to conclusions and so forth. I, I think the way they handled it in this film felt very realistic if an alien invasion were to ever happen. But for my negatives of Arrival, this is a very, very slow-paced film. I would say the second act of the film alone is very, very slow. It's very, very slow burn. Uh, so for those who really need a film where Everything happens at every moment, and it's worth it. Unfortunately, Arrival takes a very long time to go from story point to story point. It's a very, very slow-paced film that I really would have seen, would have liked to have seen a more quickened pace for. And then going back to characters, overall, overall I liked the acting in the movie and the performances that these actors and actresses gave in the movie. I think there was a lot of boring side characters. Forrest Whitaker is in the movie. He plays this general that hired Amy Adams to go to this, you know, alien site and so forth. Very boring character. It really is just, hey, do this. Hey, I'm going to give an order to this person. Hey, go over there and do this. That's really all his role is. Um, and for Jeremy Renner's role, it's basically just another person that goes into the ship and talks to the aliens. It's Amy Adams doing most of the talking, but he's just another person that happens to be in the ship when they are talking to these aliens. So he's just kind of standing there doing nothing throughout most of the movie. Uh, so just very boring side characters. Besides Amy Adams, it's not a very good character piece at all for a movie, so would have liked to have seen more interesting characters in this movie. I also thought the third act of this film was very sloppy. Um, there's just a, a lot of different directions they go in, and that you can tell they had a really hard time deciding how to wrap things up and so forth. Uh, just a very sloppy third act for a movie, I thought. This is also a very far-fetched ending. Obviously, I won't go into spoilers. I try to keep all my reviews as spoiler-free as I can. Um, but I do feel the ending of this film is very far-fetched. It really does feel a bit extreme for why they're here and so forth, once that it's all revealed and so forth. Uh, once it's revealed, it feels very far-fetched. Really would have preferred a more interesting reason for why exactly they're here on Earth and so forth. So the ending was a little far-fetched for me. There's also some low energy moments, just scenes where characters really feel like they're just not having fun making this movie. Uh, and I think I would, I, I hate to pick, you know, pick on Forrest Whitaker and Jeremy Renner again, but there's just a lot of scenes here where people really feel like they're very bored with what they're doing. Uh, just a lot of low energy moments that really don't feel that fun to watch. So would have preferred to have seen a film that maybe could have been a little bit more fun to make, I guess. So. Um, Arrival, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I think it's a good film. I think its themes and messages on universal languages are very powerful. It's well shot. It's well directed. Amy Adams gave a great performance. There's great visuals. Great acting overall. Like I said, though, those characters could have used some work. Um, a realistic take on Alien Invasion, which I liked. Uh, but I think the pacing's very slow, which it needed to work on. A lot of the side characters are very boring. The third act of this film is very sloppy. It has a far-fetched ending. And there's just too many low-energy moments to really feel like we should feel invested in what's going on. So 8 out of 10 from me. Good film, not a fantastic film. If you like Denis Villeneuve, I would say see Enemy before this one. I really think Enemy is the better film. But if you like this kind of thing, if you like movies about universal languages, not a bad view, but don't go in expecting a masterpiece.